Please welcome Sean and Sophie alias Sasha Parkinson and Brooke Vincent. <laughs> At least when you're coming down in perilous heels like that, if you held on to one another, there's less <laughs> chance of you falling, isn't there? <laughs> now, this is Corrie's first... Well, I don't know whether they have any more. First lesbian love story. What were your feelings, when you, Sasha, when you were asked if you'd do this? Is it, oh, what will my mum say? Oh, I mean, what, do you know what? Did... I, didn't, I didn't believe it at first, cos I heard... It was like a rumour going around all the auditions. And then um, when I did get the part, and we went upstairs to speak to the producer and stuff. Then they said, and I just started laughing. I was like, no, we're Brooke, because I've known Brooke since I was like six. So oh, so you like, really yeah. are mates before, Corey? Yeah. Yeah, Unfortunately, no, I'm not joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so it felt really weird, but no, it, it's an honour, really, yeah. to be honest. Especially because I had just been brought onto the show that they would trust me. And Brooke, obviously, yeah. with the story, so no. Well, the really famous nice. handling things sensitively, Brooke, so presumably you feel you're in safe hands when you're doing it at Corrie. I mean, they're very good at issues like this. Yeah, you know, it's... I think the main worry for everyone was because it was the first lesbian storyline and, like Sasha's just said, you know, they have actually trusted us, like, trusted us with it. Mm. Um, but we are young, aren't we? And, you know, we was a bit nervous and... It was just mad, wasn't it? And the first like kissing scene that we had to do, it was in, oh, it was we was in really good hands, weren't we? Yeah, we had, like, it was, it was nerve wracking, but we now didn't it's have like... time. Like we didn't have time to be nervous because they brought the scene forward. So we was like, right, okay, so it's gonna be today. <laughs> and then it just like all of a sudden happened. And now when we go and do kissing scenes, it's like, why was we so worried? You know, people obviously that's their day to day job. They're not gonna be looking and how far I'm shoving my tongue down in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not at three o'clock in the afternoon, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, moving swiftly on, I was about to say you get plenty of support from the studio, but clearly not, not in that direction. So, now, but it's, it's all coming a bit of a cliffhanger now, isn't it? I mean, yeah. you're up on the roof. Yeah, and, and you're going to come off the roof. <laughs> yeah, I do. And you end up in <laughs> quite hospital. Quickly. <laughs> quite quickly. Yeah. Um, do, yeah. we know, do we know what's going to happen to her? Well, basically, um, you've just got a fella, aren't you? And um, I see these pictures of her with this new bird, and I'm like, who's she? Bird means girl. Girlfriend. A new girl, right? <laughs> <like. laughs> so. uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, be subtitles for those of you <laughs> from the south of the country. <laughs> Back to the new bird. Um, and basically, she um, is in pictures with Sash, and I'm like, why are you in pictures with her? Why are you laughing? <laughs> and I was like, why are you in pictures with her? And then we're, um, we have this massive argument, mm -hmm. and then she gets drunk, and then she decides to go and tell the uh, church what she thinks of oh, them right. and yeah. he, the pastor's decisions. So she's Sophie and Sean as well, but Sophie's character's quite... Religious, like she's always tried to follow what are supposed to be the rules with religion and her beliefs and stuff. So she goes to the church because it seems like everything has gone wrong. Sean was kind of the last sort of thing that was stable. Well, with that family, I mean, heaven knows what's gone wrong. I, you know, <laughs> they've broken up, they've got back together, they've broken up, they've got back together. They've, I don't know to be a record, but I mean, <laughs> and then Kevin's been on Faithful recently. I mean, it's just terrible, isn't it? And I mean, yes, you know, right. you know, your sister Rosie, when she was about five, she was sent up to wash her hands, and she didn't come down till she was fourteen. <laughs> It's not a family to grow up in, is it, really? <laughs> well, I mean, she must have been as clean as anything when she came down. <laughs> do you? Because when you've not been in it that long, but you still get... You know what your character would do. Are they very sympathetic to your input as, yeah, as, as yeah, an actor? Yeah, actually, like, if you... If you get a scene and, um, we sort always, of a bit of direction or something that isn't quite what you think you would do, is like, if they say, can you just play it like this? And you can understand where they're coming from, but then if you have a valid point where you think, hang on a minute, well, the other week when I did this scene, which was the scene before this, I was kind of in this mood, and then they go, oh no, you're right, you're right. Uh, oh, like, there's, there's so like many this. different scenes that the directors have to film, you know, you, it's your kind of thing to keep hold of what your character's doing. So yeah, you're you know the where one who's got all the strings. Yeah. Yeah. What's the reaction been on the street? I mean, don't mean, I mean, correlation, I mean, a at outside the street, of the street, really? um, public street. We was expecting, like, not bad comments, but we weren't expecting it to blow up as much as it has, you know. 
on Twitter and you know Facebook and things people have been messaging us and like saying you know really well done and to us this is our job you know mm. and it's but you must feel a degree of responsibility I mean when everyone's yeah. acting perhaps you have a minority group you feel a responsibility to that group you know you must feel a responsibility to oh, see, when sure. we've had like interviews recently we for magazines and stuff <laughs> we're getting an angry and then like the people who are interviewing us was like you just you know I was only asking the question yeah. <laughs> but we, at points like because we have all of a sudden become like lesbians in the show, we kind of have our hearts with the lesbians and sticking up for them and, mm. you know, the things that we've not been able to do on the show because it's the same sex, it's like, well, why? You yeah, know, it's we, really it winds us up and we get dead aggressive. Well, and... so much happens in Coronation Street that no doubt in about three weeks' time you'll be coming an absolutely man-eating cougar by then or something like that, you know. <laughs> well, we also... Do you think you might a, no, change think, your orientation? I think... I think we're stayers. I think <laughs> the keepers. with this particular storyline, they've really focused on it Me. not being just a phase and not just, mm. like you said, then turning straight and it just mm. being one of it those things. It kind of takes the mick and I this think it's kind of gone over the, the if, kind of gone point. Over the if Sophie survives. That's true. Oh, well, you know. I think we might have got a little hint that she might. <laughs> it's been great, great, great to talk to you. I've discovered you've been mates since you were six. That's lovely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sasha Parkinson and Brooke Vincent. Thank you.